Since electric vehicles are taking over the world, the most popular commuters inevitably get electrified as well. Both motorcycles and scooters are emerging in the new form of EVs, which are characterized by nearly free operational costs, fast acceleration, and smart features that couldn't be found on the internal combustion models of the past. Subscribe to our channel and let's explore the all-new electric two-wheelers of tomorrow. India has one of the world's largest two-wheel fleets, so it is no wonder why the country is becoming a cradle of the rising industry of electric motorcycles. The F-77 is the recently unveiled bike from the startup Ultraviolet Automotive based in Bengaluru. The newcomer has a powerful sports design and comes equipped with a 34-horsepower air-cooled motor. The range is getting close to 90 miles, and the speed parameters would make it a great daily companion that will impress bypassers with its looks. This is a fully revised second-generation version of the off-road-capable electric moped by the Toronto-based company Daymac that offers new battery options, gets a Bluetooth controller, and has a max speed of 25 miles per hour in the off-road mode. Currently, the electric bike is available in three modifications, the road legal standard and deluxe powered by a single 500-watt motor, and the off-road only D that adds a second front hub mill. In early 2020, the 2.0 has been announced to get another trim distinguished by a cutting edge LTO battery that is good for 31 miles, supports rapid charging, and has a life cycle of 20,000 charges. The Taiwanese brand Kimco is firmly set on delivering the production version of an electric sports naked motorcycle by 2021, and by the looks of the newly revealed Revo NEX, they are on the right track. Though still vague in terms of specifications, this e-bike is bringing to the roads a six-speed transmission, which is tasked to give the rider better connection with the motor. An automatic mode is available, but if properly controlled manually, truly dynamic performance is guaranteed. Zero to 60 time is estimated at 3.9 seconds, and the top speed mark is set at 127 miles per hour. This two-wheeler gets premium components, the likes of Kimco Full Engagement Performance Suite, Brembo Brakes, Performance Suspension, and TFT Dash. The 2020 becomes a debut year for the Taiwanese company Autobikes on the European market. Their MCR model arrives powered by a 14-horsepower liquid-cooled central motor with a large battery, offering more than 150 miles of range. The torque output is rated at 200 pound-feet at the rear wheel and 22 at the shaft, while the max speed is claimed to reach 87 miles per hour. The two-wheeler is even more unique thanks to its rich package of standard features, including Brembo disc brakes, 
full-color TFT screen, and a headlight with a light sensor. In addition, the bike is available in a less power modification with a hub motor and identical exterior design. This is the first model by the Swedish brand Cake that was originally available only in its trail slash enduro OR modification and is now getting a street legal version for everyday commute named AND. Both bikes share similar exterior looks and the latter adds a round headlight, LED tail and turn signals, disc brakes, forged aluminum wheels and dual sport tires. When it comes to the mechanics, the two come powered by a single electric motor and 2.5 kilowatt hour battery. The street bike, however, is a bit faster with a max speed of 56 miles per hour and a range of 53 miles in a mixed riding cycle. The Austria-based Horwin is an importer of popular electric motorcycles from China to Europe. In 2020, however, they are reinventing themselves by delivering to the market the first in-house developed model of e-bikes. The CR6 and CR6 Pro will be competing within the 125cc segment oriented on city commuters, since the top speeds of 60 miles per hour isn't truly highway worthy. The exterior design was clearly inspired by the Honda CB300R with some cafe racer hints. These bikes can cover around 80 to 90 miles on a charge, but performance-wise are far from impressive. Out of the two, the Pro version is more appealing, getting a stronger motor and a 5-speed manual transmission to increase the riding enjoyment. Previously manufactured between 1957 and 1964, this iconic scooter was brought to market once again in 2018 as a purely electric model with limited yearly production of 50 custom-built units. The two-wheeler gets 10 available colors, lots of accessories, and two motor options, rated for 11 or 15 horses. There are only three battery packs, offering 62, 93, or 124 miles of riding on a charge. In the upcoming 2020, the company plans to start production of a new and improved version of the model, which will be named the Type 507. The flat two-cylinder box engine and BMW have a very long-lasting history together, 
which is cherished both by the developers and riders of the German bikes. To commemorate this unique synergy, the Electric Vision DC Roadster was built, and it showcases that when the time eventually comes to transition to electric propulsion, the newly developed models will keep the spirit of the iconic designs. The battery is placed at the center of the frame and is styled to resemble the internal combustion engine. The cooling elements are exposed to the airflow to cool the battery, plus some of them are able to move outward at higher speeds. No info is yet available about the EV specs, but they should definitely be rad. Recently rebranded as the Verge TS, this is the first electric bike from the Finland-based company that has been unveiled in its production-ready form at the 2019 Motorcycle Fair in Helsinki. The innovative model is best described as a cross between a sporty cruiser and a futuristic roadster. It features a new rim motor design and has a battery good for between 125 and 185 miles of riding. The fast charging is also there. Like many other e-bikes, the TS motorcycle demonstrates great acceleration and, thanks to the installed 107 horsepower electric motor, it gets to 60 under 4 seconds and tops off at 112 miles per hour. Thank you for visiting our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button, and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later!